Hey guys, this is Super Gamer Michael. Today I'll be doing an idiot test. There'll be 20 questions to it. See how many I'm going to get right. You do this too with me if you like. Count how many you get right. Don't forget to count how many you get right and then we'll see what type of person you are. So let's, without further ado, let's just get into this. So you may not know, it's actually about 11 o'clock. The first video of the summer holidays. Daniel, Carly, and Jody will be in actually a few videos, I think, in a couple of weeks. Let's get into this now. Hello, my name is Rudolph. I have a really high IQ. There are these tests that keep making us feel silly. But don't worry, we know something that won't make you feel stupid. Smashing our subscribe button like a boss. While you're at it, Ring that bell if you enjoy our videos, because there's more where this came from. Now, let's start the test. Don't get offended by the result. We're all friends here. Yes, we are. And truth be told, we scored pretty average ourselves. Oh, and don't forget to count how many answers you got right. That will help deciding how much of an idiot you are. Or not. 20. Larry's father has five sons. Their names are 1, 2, 3, 4, and... Can you guess the name of the fifth son? Oh, uh, Larry. This one's so easy. Larry. 19. If a plane crashes on the border of the US and Mexico, where do they bury the survivors? They don't, because they don't bury survivors. You don't bury survivors. 18. You have two coins that together equal 15 cents. One of them is not nickel. What are they? Oh god, I don't flip it and know this one. I have no idea. A diamond and a nickel. 17. What goes up and down but doesn't move? Stairs. Stairs. Three. 16. Why are 2011 pennies worth more than 2010 pennies? It's because 2011 pennies won more than 2010. Because 2011 pennies is one more than 2010 pennies. Four? Fifteen. A yellow one-story house has three rooms. All the rooms have yellow walls and yellow furniture. Even the TV is yellow. What color are the stairs? No stairs. It's a one-story house. There are no stairs. It's a one-story house. Five. Fourteen. What was the president's name in 1970? Ooh, either Richard Nixon or Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Oh, six. 13. There is a family with a mother, a father, and seven sisters. Each sister has one brother. How many people are in the family total? Wait a sec, I'll pause this one, it's so hard. It took me about 30 seconds. I think the answer's ten. Let's see. 10, 12, a man builds a house rectangular in shape. All sides have southern exposures. A bear walks by. What color is the bear? Why? White, because he's in the North Pole. White, he's in the North Pole. Eleven. Eight. If you have only one match and you walk into a room that has one candle, one kerosene lamp, and a wood-burning stove, which would you light first? Match. To start the fire. The match. Ten. A tree has 24 birds nine. in it. Two hunters shoot nine of the birds. How many birds are left in the tree? Probably none. None. Nine. Ten. How many outs are in an inning of baseball? I don't know. Depends. Six. Each team has to bat. Eight. A woman gives a beggar 50 cents. The woman is the beggar's sister, but the beggar is not the woman's brother. How come? That's easy. The beggar's the woman's sister, then. The beggar is the woman's sister. Seven. How Eleven. How many stamps are there in a dozen? Don't get carried away by this. There's twelve. Twelve. Six. Twelve, right. How many animals of each species did Moses take on the ark? 
None? It was Noah. None. Moses? It was Noah 5. A farmer has 17 sheep and all but 9 die. How many are left? Nine. Nine. Four. If there are three apples and you take away two, how many do you have? Two. Two. You took two, so you have two. Three. Is it legal in California for a man to marry to his widow's sister? No, it's not. Nope, he's dead. Two. Some months have 31 days. How many have 28 days? All of them. All of them. One. Which is heavier, a pound of feathers or a rock that weighs one pound? This one is so easy, they weigh the same. They weigh the same. Okay, now check your score. If you answer between zero to eight questions correct, welcome to the club. You are an idiot. Well, I'm if not. If you had nine to sixteen correct answers, you're a pretty smart person. And if you answered above seventeen, you're brilliant. But if somehow, you answered all twenty questions correct, then you have a respect. You're a genius. Either way, we still consider you our friend, and love you to bits. So don't worry about the results. Okay? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and share it in social networks. We really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. So, um, yeah, um... I got about, I think, 17 on that one. I'll put my score down in the description below so you go look. Um, so put in the comment down below what score you got. And then I'll reply to that. Thank you. Bye. See you in my next video.